Hi, this is Juan from WantTutors.com. Welcome to my totally free office hours. Uh, today we're working on the August 2016 New York uh, Geometry uh, Regions, problem number 20. Uh, if you want to access these exams, go to nysedregions.org, click on the appropriate tabs, and all the tests are freely available there. So here's the problem. Uh, tennis balls are sold in cylindrical cans with the bat balls stacked one on top of the other. A tennis ball has a diameter of 6.7 centimeters. Okay, that's about that big. And then to the nearest cubic centimeter, what is the minimum volume of a can that holds a stack of four tennis balls? So one, two, three, four. I do try to create a, a mental image of what the thing should look like. Uh, if it helps me maybe to generate uh, uh, an estimate. Now these, these answers are pretty close to each other, but hey, uh, at least uh, it'll help me get, uh, get some sort of estimate. So. What is the minimum volume that can hold a stack of four tennis balls? Uh, well, uh, this is what I'll tell you to do. Pause the video, try it on your own. See if you get the same answer as us. If you do, definitely hit the like button so we can know. Uh, so we, though, always draw a diagram because that's what we do and that's what we recommend at Lawn Tutors. Uh, always, always, always draw a diagram. So this is a cylinder and it's going to hold four tennis balls so I'm going to draw the four tennis balls in let's see in red apparently uh, so one two three and if the diagram clarifies everything you need if you're like having struggles with it but then suddenly drawing the diagram helps you uh, then I definitely now pause the video and start doing the problem. So there's a tennis uh, a container, tennis ball container. That's a cylinder. Okay, it's not the best drop diagram, but this is stacked as best as they can, stacked to the edges, right? And then now, what is the question? Is the volume of a cylinder? If you don't know the volume of a cylinder, well, you luckily are they're given to you in the formula sheet, but you really should start learning these and try to remember these. So the formula for the volume of a cylinder is V equals pi r squared h. Okay, pi r squared h. So according to them, we should be able to get all of those numbers here. So let's see. The, the radius of a, uh, the diameter of, a, of a, a tennis ball, which is spherical, is 6.7 centimeters. So 6.7 centimeters. So all the way up 6.7 centimeters, 6.7 centimeters. So this height is 4 times 6.7 centimeters, which is 24 plus 2.8 is 26.8, okay? Uh, if you don't believe me, 6.4, or if you don't know, if you're not comfortable with doing uh, decimal multiplication, what did I just do? 6.7 uh, times 24, uh, uh, times 4, geez. Uh, if you're not comfortable doing decimal multiplication, there you go. Uh, you could do it that way. Now the radius, I know that the diameter is also the diameter of a ball. So I know that this diameter is 6.7 is equal to the diameter. And so the radius, the radius equals half of 6.7, which is 3, .3 plus 0.35 is 3.35. Again, if you're not comfortable with the arithmetic, just do it on the calculator. 6.7 as a check divided by 2. 3.35. So the volume is then pi times the radius is 3.35 squared times the height is 26.8. And let's see. Pi uh, 3.35 squared times 26.8. Okay, and nine, uh, these are all rounded to the nearest one, so 945. So that's our answer. If your goal is to get the answer to number 20, then definitely hit the next button so you can see the answer to number 21. But we did create a problem that, that, you, that could help you review the, these kinds of concepts. Uh, 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 I'll tell you a tougher version of this problem. So uh, 
So definitely uh, try to work on this problem on your own, pause the video, and if you get the same answer as us, uh, definitely hit the like button, and, and look, subscribe, because you know we're here to help you. Uh, so here's the problem, a cylinder of radius 10 centimeters and height 20 centimeters is, wrote, is contained in a sphere. Oof. To the nearest cubic centimeter, what is the minimum volume of a sphere that can hold the cylinder? Wow, this is a tough one, isn't it? Um, and I'll tell you this, without drawing a diagram, you're, you're gonna struggle. So how do, how, well, I'll let, you, I'll let you think about this one, to draw your diagram, see what you could do with it, uh, and, and then see if you get the same answer as us, and if you do, again, hit the like button. Definitely do that, subscribe. So now the cylinder is of radius uh, 10 centimeters, so I'm gonna draw a cylinder uh, in black, uh, no, in, in blue, in blue. Okay. Now the cylinder is of radius 10. Okay, so the diameter is 20. Uh, now, and the height is also 20. So if I draw kind of like a square type uh, cylinder, so this is 20. And then this bottom. Okay, is here. So then the sphere that goes around it, I'm going to draw that in red. So the sphere that goes around it, it's like, well, how do you draw the sphere that goes around it? Well, what we do know is that the sphere has to contain the cylinder and it has to be as small as possible. So as a result, we know that the sphere is going to be in contact with the edge of the cylinder on top and on bottom. So it's going to look something like this. Okay. Notice I'm purposely touching all those points. Okay. So the, the sphere looks like this. Now, it's like, well, what do you do with that? You might not feel comfortable making assumptions at this point, right? Uh, so is there anything that we could do that make an estimate? Well, I see that the cylinder takes up quite a bit of the volume of the of the sphere of the sphere. So maybe if I calculate the volume of the cylinder, it'll give me uh, a way to eliminate some answers. So I know the volume of a cylinder is equal to pi r of the cylinder squared times the height of the cylinder. So pi times 10 squared times height is 20. So pi times two, 10 squared is 100, times 2 is 200, times 2,000. Uh, so this is uh, 628, uh, about 6280, 26283. Okay, so that's the volume of the cylinder. And I know that the volume of the sphere is greater than the volume of the cylinder. Okay, so I can cross out number one, and I can cross out number two because number two is the volume of the cylinder. That's actually a big deal. Now, I, even if I don't know how to do this question, I have a one and two shot of getting it right. Uh, so definitely was worth doing what we just did. I, a one and two chances go takes a problem from, from being worth a half a point, which is a one fourth of the two points that this problem is worth, to being worth a whole point. Which, is, which could significantly raise your grade. If you're a student who's struggling with passing, it could mean the difference between passing and failing. If you're a high-level student, it could mean the difference between you know, 70, in the 70s or 80s or 80s and 90s, or maybe even between that 95, 96, or even that coveted 100. So, so that's a big deal. So what do we do here, though? Here's the volume of a sphere. Now, the formula sheet does tell you uh, the formula of the volume of a sphere. Uh, we should know that by heart, uh, but if you don't, if volume equals 4 thirds pi r cubed, okay? So 4 thirds pi r of the sphere cubed, okay? And this is the radius of the cylinder. So we do, know, we do have to think about what the radius of the sphere is. Here's the thing, the radius of the cylinder is 10, but there's a little bit extra. So it's like, well, how do you get the radius of the sphere? Well, we do know that this is 10 uh, because the height of the cylinder is 20. And so 10 and 10 is 20. The radius of the cylinder is 10. 
Okay, if we draw the square, that's 10, and that's 10 also, because it's a square. And that line, that diagonal, does reach the, the sphere. So this is a radius. And this is a right triangle with side lengths 10. So we got a triangle, R, side length 10, and side length 10. So the length is 10 rad 2. If you use the Pythagorean theorem, you can also get uh, 10 rad 2 or 200, radical 200 if, you, if you're not comfortable with simplifying radicals. So we use that formula and we use that radius for the, for the uh, uh, radius. So 4 thirds pi, uh, let's see, uh, 10 rad 2, close parentheses, cubed. And let's see what this is on the calculator. We know it's got to be a little bit bigger than 6.6283, uh, 6, but the, uh, the, unfortunately the other answers are actually both pretty close to each other. So I, I can't intuitively determine which one of those the answer is. So 4 divided by 3 times pi times uh, the radius is 10 rad 2 out close power of 3 and 11847.68 here is our answer okay wow that was a tough problem but look i know you can do it, it we, all we did was you, we used details about the geometry of the problem to, to be able to get quantities that we needed for it um uh look keep working at it uh, I know you can do it. I believe in you. All right. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video starting right now.